All right, this is Kapoon Piso. I'm going to talk today about the spirit world <laughs> and clean spirit and the soul. As opposed to we have inside our bodies. Let's go back to ancient Asia 5,000 years ago. 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians didn't know we had a brain. They created religious beliefs. They created all the organized religions. And uh, to them, the spirit world were the stars, and uh, the gas that surround us, that we live in hell, that's the spirit world. Spiritus in Latin, it means pneuma, it means gas. The soul, gas, is air in our lungs. They didn't know that in those days. You know what the unclean spirits were? Our farts, the left from the gates of hell, which is our anal sphincter. Every time something like that happened, oh man, in clean spirits are living the body. They had no idea about bacteria and microbiology. Everything was an act of the gods. That was then. Today, believing all that is a mental illness. All that this is, is extremely illness. obvious, you can see that. Isis and Horus the child equated to Jesus and Isis and notice the, the wings which are the uh, souls. Which the, are the main uh, souls. god, the sun with its rays is equated with the penis and with horns is also equated with the air, with the soul. The air, with the soul. This living the body, the air, the wings is 5,000 years old. That's what all the Christians and and the rest of people take their Bible fairy tales from. Taken from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Wings represent the soul. The birds of soul. Yeah. The birds of The birds flew in the spirit, in the air. The moon was suspended in the air. The planets, the stars, everything was suspended. Then the sun left our God and died in the West. For the Egyptians, 4,000 years ago, everything, the air, was sacred. It was a god, was a god-living force of the sun, the moon, and the stars. And life after death was going back to the spirit world, which was the air. Birds were messengers of the gods and gods themselves. They didn't know about bacteria or DNA. If you go to any doctor today, a biologist, he'll tell you that we're composed of DNA and we're constantly aging, radiation. We're full of bacteria. Our skin is full of bacteria. Microscopic world. They're waiting for us to die because we're getting old. And then they will devour us. Sorry, Christians. You will decompose. You'll rot. And you blow up with the air in your guts. Like happened to this animal. We are animals. Like this happened to this whale. And this pig is a very... It shows what's happened after death. You decompose. You blow up. Who cares? But if you didn't have a good life and you're believing all this Christ and imaginary friends, you wasted all your life. Bacteria present in the gut escape and spread into the abdomen. These bacteria release toxins and accelerate the degeneration of the body proteins, which generates gases. As these volatile gases increase, they create pressure in the abdomen, causing the body to expand. The gas is the spirits and the soul. <laughs> Christian, I hate to hear that, but this is a fact. You are going to decompose, you're going to rot. There is no life after this, except for bacteria. To demonstrate the effects of decomposition, Chenry carries out a necropsy on a farm pig that has died of natural causes. It may be smaller than a sperm whale, but the manner in which animals decompose is essentially the same in all species. So, now, can you hear the gas coming, coming there? The gas? That's a spirit coming out. That's where I see from. that. Except this bacteria. That's life after death. Place to escape. The soul. Now, can you hear the gas? The gas? That's a spirit coming out. That's where I from. Can you imagine in the Roman times when you? Uh, have a fart, or you die, and you went like, <sighs> and then the 
spirit came out, you gas, and then you farted, and then you decomposed, and you got to get bloated. So you were cremated, big ceremony, so your spirit goes into heaven, and then you worship like a God, like a Christus, like happened to Julius Caesar, the Christ. Here is the goddess Sabina, the wife of Hadrian, the Christus, ascending to heaven on, on an eagle. And here is, here is Antoninus Pius, the Christus. Can you imagine in ancient times, in ancient Rome, the air? What is it? <laughs> it's a force that keeps you alive. That's the reason in every religious ceremony, uh, you use a veil, you always, you never officiate that. And you kiss it. Have you, have you seen the uh, the Catholic priest, you know, kissing before they put it on, the different things? Well, this is, you're capturing the air. You know, you're grabbing all the air, the spirit world, and, you, and you're doing all the real different ceremonies with it. A religious priest wears a, a veil like that to have the blessings. And then, if you cough, You trying to keep that in there, or you go, or you're yawning. You put your because you don't want the spirit. You don't want your soul to escape. You might lose your soul and you might die. See, the fact is that air and this the, is nothing but the spirit world, ancient time, and this is proven by all these monuments and all over the world, the ancient world. If you know how to read them, you'll understand that there is no such a thing as God. Everything when you cover your head with uh, with Sacred uh, with uh, fabric and all that represents the spirit world here it is even the, the son of god augustus is covering his hair his head and also this uh, stupid pope in ancient times they will regard him uh, as the a spirits are lifting his cage children should be taught biology in school tell them that the brain is what they are that's what they're thinking with there is no god and crap like that get them educated teaching biology those layers that it yet hasn't gone through into the peritoneal cavity. Yeah. The yeah. muscles are tearing. And they can't and explode. Finally, it gets into the peritoneum where the pressure is and kaboom, out comes all the guts and feathers, so to speak. It happens too. We're going to explode too after we decompose. And then the solids be Gases come out. The intestines and the organs. Yeah. The sperm it's whale in Oregon was less than half the size of the giant sperm whale that blew up in Taiwan. Okay. Yep. Sure. They didn't know biology. They didn't know about bacteria and microbes. Zero. Everything's for the gods. But of course, people don't want to hear the truth. Eh, you know, we're going to die, we're going to decompose, so you have to invent all these feel good uh, fairy tales. Today, there's no excuse. There's no God, there's no heaven, there's no sin, there's none of that crap. You have to be retarded and ignorant and psychopath to believing all that garbage of life after death and God and crap. The reality of it is, is that we are full of screta, bacteria. That's the reality of it all. The true life after death. So you better get cremated. Today we know that uh, we create God with our brain. When they malfunction, you have a problem. It's proven by a neurology recently. Yeah, if you believe in God and have a spiritualism, you might have a problem, a tumor in your brain, or some anomaly. In all reality, if you believe in God, you're deluded, you're a theotard, either psychotic or extremely ignorant, don't know any history. And, you know, our bodies will decompose. You know, if you want to live forever, you know, get mummified like Ramsey II. We still have the body. He was a God and Savior. We can see him today. We know all about him. Giving his DNA. So, when I die, I will live in the memory of my friend's brains. If I'm lucky, I'll look like that 3,000 years from now, and everybody will know who I was. As always, I come back up everything I say with facts. Pacha de Oro.